This is the text I made in the previous video and now I'm going to unwrap it because that's necessary if you need if you, we want to bake it bake a texture for it. So up the top here are different workspaces so we're going to select UV editing. Now we're going to have to press numpad 7 again to get it into top view. Uh, select it all with A. And there it is along the bottom, not yet unwrapped. Uh, so project, we're going to use project from view, which is letter U. And choose project from view. And we're going to scale it with S. Move it with G to near the top. Right, at the moment everything is unwrapped into this, these islands here. These are called islands. But we want the underneath of the text to have its own unwrap and the depth of the text to have its own unwrap. So into side view, numpad 3, turn on x-ray, deselect everything. Now B to box select all the sides and the bottom and then move the mouse to the UV window and GY to bring that down. So now the top and bottom are unwrapped, but the sides still aren't unwrapped. And this time we're just going to select the depth. So B, box select. And we're going to move that down a minute. GY. Now to unwrap it, turn off toggle x-ray. Now we'll do control I and that reverses the selection. And H to hide. Now this is still not unwrapped flat. So what we need to do is mark seams just give ourselves a bit more space. Now to do that you select a vertical line and then press Ctrl E and mark seam. You do that for every letter. can do them all at once, so I can go like this, one, two, three, four, five, control E, mark seam. Now we can unwrap that. Now we, would, we won't use project from view for this one, we'll just do normal unwrap. So select all with A and U unwrap. Now one of them hasn't got a seam marked. Now with sync selection on, we can hover over that and press L. Actually be in face select. Press L. Ah, it's the uh, apostrophe. Control E, mark seam. Let's do it again. U, unwrap. These two somehow have a, a different orientation, but that's okay. Just select those two. L, L, R90. Oh, 
and now we're going to do pack islands for those. So select them all. UV pack islands. Now they're on top of each other and we'd like them spaced out so that baking can uh, use the margins from the spacing. So to do that, margin, drag out, drag along, like that. Let's give it a bit more. Now R90 and G and move it into position. Now we can come over here and do Alt H and there's everything neatly unwrapped. Now we'll bake a texture for it. But first of all we need to give it materials. So let's go back to the layout workspace. That's where we started. And into object mode. And this is the material button here. So we click that and we go new. So just call it gold. Right now we'll go to the shading tab. And we're going to add some lights. So, still object mode, add lamp or light, and I'm going to choose area lights. In fact, I'm going to choose three of them and angle them a bit. So, Shift D to duplicate, Shift D, and select the text again, right, this is the default shader that Blender gives us, but we need to add a, uh, an image to bake to. So Shift A, Texture, Image Texture, New. I'm going to give it um, a large, larger size and reduce it down in GIMP afterwards. So maybe 2048, don't need alpha, and OK. Now we'll look at the bake settings, we don't want ambient occlusion which seems to be the default, we want combined. I've turned off in the influence, I've turned off um, transmission, but I do want glossy and turned off emit. That didn't turn off denoise, which is ticked by default, because there's a bug in uh, 3.1.2 that bakes black pixels along the seams. Right, and that seems set up. Oh, one more thing. light paths. So diffuse, diffuse, transmission. We, we're not baking transmission. So turn that to zero. We're not baking transparent. So turn that to zero. Diffuse and glossy. That's all we need. Okay. 
let's give this uh, texture we're baking to give that a name so gold texture and we'll select it from the drop down here right, so let's make everything gold so base color some kind of goldish color turn the metallic down to zero sorry turn, turn the metallic up until it's shiny turn the roughness down and what we're actually going to do we're going to shade the whole thing smooth just for baking we've already uploaded the text but we're going to take the advantage make the advantage of the um, smooth texture make it more reflective I'll show you shade smooth you can see that it's reflecting the the whole environment then but let's choose an environment texture variety of um, well, I'll just show you quickly top one I think and select outdoor and then if you look at the silver balls in these images that's the type of reflection you're going to get from these images so we'll find an interesting one To me that one looks quite interesting. And these are quite big because they, they carry light, they're special textures that carry carry light within them. So that's called Studio Garden. So come over to the World tab. That's here use nodes click that click on none and choose background click on the color button here and choose environment texture and then open and browse to the one you just downloaded or maybe on my desktop There it is on my desktop. Now up here you can you can view how it looks with with that particular background. So viewport shading is the one to click, the one on the right. Now I don't know why, but I'm getting this pink tinge to it. So I'll just ignore that for now. I'd like to increase the brightness a bit so I can do that here, strength. And now we can bake. So to make sure that this is selected, gold texture, the uh, image node. And back to the camera icon here. Scroll down to bake, it's still on combined bake and you'll see what's happening down here once it's baked it'll bake quite quickly because I turned off those slower options like transmission and emit and everything we don't need you see the progress down here And there's our texture. So let's turn that back to flat shading as it was. Well, first of all, let's save the texture. So image, save as, gold texture, 
desktop. I'll turn that back to flat shortly. Hang on, let's have a look at it in Second Life. So, upload image. Oh, I, ha I haven't actually um, shrunk it in GIMP yet, but I will do. Let's see how it looks anyway. I hope that was understandable for everyone and if it wasn't please let me know in the comments and I'll try and try to explain more clearly. Bye!